Siellä hän se on kasvien sera siassa. What brings you to the vine district? I hoped to see you again, my friend. Kiva, kiva. Strife that has come between the circles. You know, that's not a bad idea. Few outsiders are permitted to attend the council meetings, but you can attest to what we saw at Tuin. The Fire Song Circle is willing to use force to gather the three sacred seeds, and that's just wrong. The last Druid King gave one seed to each circle long ago. He also gave us a prophecy, the Dream of Kasserain. Some Druids consider it a warning, but Archdruid Orlaith and others believe it's a call to action. Jos on punainen nappi, niin sitä on pakko painaa. Hmm. Meet me at the Telling Stone, the landmark near the center of the island. It would be easier to simply show you the prophecy, and it's close to Dreyfadel. Besides, Free might be there. They will want to see you again. <laughs> Nykyään näissä on sentään noin viittiin merkata sulle niin kuin näkyvästi karttaan, ettei ne vaan markkerit ilmesty jotenkin maagisesti sulle. Täälläkin täytyy vähän tapella. Täällä on se tää tappelu menossa. Tää on samalla niinku High Islandissa tää tappelu. Kopani on nyt ei kyllä näissä yleensä selviä hirveän kauan. Sammakko. Kassa ystävyyttä pitää hieroa, niin se saa, se, se saa ihan kohtuullisesti ystävyys monta näistä näin tappeluista. Voitetaan vastustajia. Joo, en, en viitti kuolta. still remain. I shall return to my order and report all that has happened until we meet again. Okay. Stendar's grace hangs around us here. I can feel it. Darkness stirs. 
Roots tremble. Druids gather. I am the nourisher. The sower. Needed? I don't think that's wise, Free. I don't trust the fire song. Fire song. Pulsing, ripping, torn free from the ground. Blood in leaves. A memory. You. There when blood soaked the leaves. When eyes opened and roots awoke. Defender. You feel it. Yes? Unrest in the soil. Wrongness. Tämä tosiaan niin kun muistaa, kun me tehtiin se ennakkoseikkalu ennen tätä näin. Niin. A song of hate blows through the branches. Harm drips like sap. It soaks the ground. Awaken to fire. Tremors. Volcano. Deadwood. Blood in the shadows. I am troubled. Rock. Root. Leaf, brook, all dreams of the green, my kin, spirits given form, we are purpose, meaning, now a new purpose grows, unwelcome change. King Kasserain called me from the green, a choice to be made, a moment, waiting. Needed. My purpose is to be. Wait. Listen. Roots must find water before they drink. <laughs> Welcome to the Telling Stone, my friend. These runes tell the prophecy we call the Dream of Kasserain. Almost nothing survived from the time of the Druid King, but we have this, and now free as well. Free is free. You saw what Archdruid Mishael did to the Weirds. Druids who are ready to hurt others like that shouldn't get what they want. So I've been keeping free safe and helping them learn about people. They grow more every day. I probably know more about the Druid King than any other Druid alive, but so much remains a mystery. The dream of Kasserain describes a mountain shaking and a sower awakening. I think it's talking about Mount Firesong and Free. So much has been lost, so I can only guess. Maybe Archdruid Orlaith believes the seeds must be united to make the prophecy come true? Until they end their violent ways, though, I plan to keep Free a secret. Let's go see what happens at the Dreyfa. <laughs> Dalmerit löysi oman torninsa. Tornit on metafyysisiä rakennelmia, mikä pitää uni universo Arubista kasassa. Tam Tamriel ja kaikkea muuta. Nirniä. Ää, niin, niin, ää, Nordien torni on, on taas niin valkohammas. Throat of the World, missä, missä Skyrimissa käydään siellä. Ja jokaiseen torniin pitäisi liittyä kivi. Ää, Crystal Towerin Summersetissä, niin siinä ilmeisesti on jonkinlainen niin kuin, ää, kivi myöskin, mikä hajoo sitten joskus neljännellä ajalla. Ää, Adamantion Toweri, mistä Eso, Esossa aloitetaan, niin se on, se on tuota, no niin, Valfierassa, Iliak Beissä. Sitten no White Gold Toweri on kaikista tunnetuin, se on Imperiumin, Imperiumin pääkaupunki. Ja Punainen vuori on tietysti Morrowindista tosi tuttu. Mutta sen lisäksi niinku Kasitit pölli niiden tornin, tornit, eli ne otti käyttöön kuut. Ja sitten taas posmerit kasvatti itselleen tornit, eli nämä suuroukit Kratwoodissa on niinku periaatteessa niinku kans erä, erä, eräänlainen metafyysinen torni. Sen takia Paul Molagpol iski yhtä vastaan ensimmäisen ajan lopussa. Mutta niin kuin Pystyskö tämä siemen olemaan tässä vaiheessa uuden tornin siemen? 
koska ne on tosi voimakkaita, esimerkiksi ää, toi, noin toi Somersetissä Dydrat yritti valo- valottaa sitä tornia sen takia, koska se on äärimmäisen voimakas paikka. The Drefa will begin soon. Three archdruids from each circle meet in a dell within the hills across the valley just to the south of here. We should make our way there. I don't want to miss anything. Kassarain was the last of the druid kings. In an age long past, he led our people from High Rock to Galen. They hoped to find a land where druids could live in peace and follow Ifrae's teachings as they understood them. Bretonien syntyperä on ihmisten ja haltioiden jälkeläisiä. Direni haltijat o- on pitänyt hallussa niin kuin Palfieressa olevaa Adamantium tornia, joka on myös nolla torni, ensimmäinen torni äh, ta- Tamrielissa, Nirnissä. Niin, niin, se on mahdollista, että niillä on jotain salasta tietämystä, että miten kasvatetaan, äh, kasvatetaan äh, torni, metafyysinen torni. He chose no successor before he died. Instead, Kassarain recognized the three circles and told them to govern themselves, together, in peace. And so the Drefa, the Council of Druids, came into existence. The Drefa has guided us ever since. Koska siis ekaissa LDSK-peleissä areenassa tuhotaan Stafford Towers, huono juttu, Daggerfallissa tuhotaan tää niinku Numidium, kolmosessa Tuotaan kas numidium. Ää, nelosessa ää, rikotaan punainen jalokivi. Jim et ad adbal. Skyrimissa. No okei, okay, siinä vaiheessa magia on aika vähissä. Koska siinä on rikottu edellisissä peleissä aika paljon kaikki mahdolliset niinku, ää, aika isot jutut. Mut niinku, Siinä ei sinänsä Skyrimissä kai enää tuhota kiveä. Niin tämä on mielenkiintoinen juttu, ajatus, että pystyisikö tämä olemaan tämä lisäosa käsittelemään sitä, että miten torni perustetaan. Koska tässä viitataan tuohon uneen kanssa. led our withdrawal from the mainland. But he also saw a day when druids would once again take their place in Tamriel. For good or ill. A dream is a promise and a warning. Some druids believe we're destined to bring a green renewal to Tamriel, to teach everyone to live in harmony with nature. Others fear a green scourge, when nature runs amok, and the tyranny of druids takes hold. Yks, yks legenda on se, että Imperiumin keskusmaat Syrodil ois ollu ju- viidakkoa ja e, tai Perceptim ois e, e, poistanut sen omilla, omilla voimillaan. Mutta niin kuin tässä Syrodil on aika aikea laakea, joten se ei pidä tässä pelissä paikkaansa. Mutta koko Elder Scrolls pelisarja kertoo unesta, niin, niin sen takia unista puhuminen on aika voimakas asia tässä pelissä. I think the dream is a metaphor. Kassarain was reminding us of where we came from. The day he describes will never come, but we should lead our lives as if it's close at hand. Make the right choices. Do the right things. That's how I see it. Hard to say. So much is open to interpretation. I think it warns of a usurper who claims the kingship by force and treachery. It may be related to the end of Kassarain's rule. I found one reference to an all-weather death cult active at that time. Hmm, mielenkiintoista. Mutta tämähän on samanlainen idea kuin Dunmerien eskatologiassa, että on niin kuin Vivek ja sitten on anti-Vivek. On niin kuin ää, tyyppi, tyyppi, joka niin kuin on liikaa sitikseen kallellaan, joka on pelkästään, pelkästään niin kuin entropian voima. Druid Laurel is wise, turns toward the sun. I am the keeper, the nourisher, the sower. I will wait. A bloom closed against the frost. Hmm. Sitten. No, okei, okay. sitten lähdetään tuohon suuntaan. Väärä, väärä suuntaan. <laughs> Ei, ei, 
ja ratsastaa kuitenkaan jyrkänteen taas. Mutta joo, tämä on melkoinen lore buffi ja nimenomaan Dunmerien äh, tota noin, äh, teologiaan tutustunut aika, aika syvällisesti aika monen vuoden ajan. Et siinä mielessä niin kun... Mutta mut taas niin kuin kolmonen Moravid on niin metapeli, että, että niin kun se niin kun, äh, siihen viittaaminen etenkin nykyään, vaikka, vaikka niin kun sen kehittäjät ei ole suosiossa, niin se on silti niin kun, äh, ne teemat on edelleen a, a, sellaisia, mikä elää Elder Scrollsissa. Sitä, sitä ei niinku voi kieltää. Sitä on ehkä tyhmennetty Elder Scrollsia, mutta kuitenkin niin. The Draper must crown a new Druid King. Perhaps. But you have no right to claim the sacred seeds by force. You hide your seeds and keep the sower of Kasserine's dream for yourself. You declare this war, not the Fire Song. No Druid King can be crowned until the circles are united. The Telling Stone is quite clear. This Draper is a sham. If I must burn away the old to reveal the new, so be it! Yeah, say so too. Ah, yeah, bottom area. Get away! I'll go after her. Right, protect the remaining archdruids. Hate these people! Niillä on ihan siisti suojakenttä. Tää vaan tyynesti taapertaa. Karikku. for this outrage. She has young Stefan. We must tread carefully, yet thanks to this one of you do we still live. We must inform Count Mornard. I won't tell Archdruids what to do, but you're welcome in Dastir. Orlaith was going to take me, but Stefan intervened. He put himself in danger to save me and protect my circle. We need to tell Count Mornard what happened, and then we have to help Stefan. Archdruid Orleif never intended the Dreyfa to judge her actions. Brute and rot! She only agreed to come so she could have the Dreadsails kill the Archdruids. Huh. She meant to leave the Stone Lore and the Elder Tide crippled and without their leaders. So I see. Thank you. That was more good than I could do. I chased after Orlaith and ran directly into her hands. Worse yet, I brought Stefan right to her. Now the Firesong Circle has a hostage. I don't know, but Count Mornard will be furious. Archdruid Orlaith might demand the Sacred Seeds in exchange for Stefan. Or she could make House Mornard stand down until her allies collect the seeds for her. This is bad. 
Hmm. I have given Archdruid Orle too much ground in an effort to keep the peace between our circles. No longer. The treachery of this day sunders all bonds. She will pay for this. I never imagined the Firesong Druids would join up with murderous scum like the Dreadsails against their own kind. And they pulled House Mornard into it too. We should head back to Vestir. Someone needs to tell Count Mornard about his son. Orlaith was going to take me. Archdruid Orlaith never planned to discuss peace this day. She let the Dreyfer gather so that she could eliminate us with one swift blow. Treachery indeed. War has come to Galen. Whether we wanted it or not. Huh. Mietin tota, että mitä Marmeni saa tästä näin, koska niillä on yleensä joku suunnitelma kuitenkin. Ja niiden vaikuttimista tiedetään todella vähän. Muuta kuin ne, että voi olla geneerisiä paiksia tietysti, mutta ne pa palvoo jonkinlaista käärmettä ja niillä on jonkinlainen niin kuin, jumalakeisarityyppinen johtaja, joka voi, voi olla hyvin samalla itseensä kuin Vivek tai, tai niin kuin, joku tällainen Viveke esimerkiksi lähde 36 opetuksessaan, niin yhdessä vaiheessa niin Hortator kysyy, että mitä etelässä on, ja Viveke ei suostu puhumaan tai menemään sinne. Että niin, niin saattaa olla hyvinkin voimakas tyyppi. Joo. Sivutehtävä hoidetaan tässä vaiheessa. Sitten mennään kuulemaan, kuulemaan tota noin, niin, kritiikkiä. Se isäpappa vaan saattaa kyllä innostua kuvasti. An outsider? Well, if this is Ifrae's will... Come here, please. Outsider, I fear for my wife, my Gwenael. A group of Firesong druids attacked our home in Ifrae's path. I managed to escape the slaughter, but Gwenael's still in there. I tried to go back for her, but the path has grown more dangerous. Yes, outsider. Animals lash out. The spirit motes that once inspired us blanket the land in a thick fog. The spirit of the path may be injured or frightened. I do not know what the fire song want or how they turn my home against me. The spirit of Ifray's path. We call it the Chronicle. We Elder Tide made our home here to care for and tend to the spirit. Outsider, I'm trusting you. I'm putting my wife's safety in your hands. Help me find her, and I will see you well rewarded. The entrance to the path is just over there. I'll meet you on the steps down into the sacred valley. There we can find out what happened to my Gwenael. Yes, we're members of the Elder Tide Circle. You're fortunate that I need your assistance. Outsiders aren't usually permitted to set foot in our sacred sites. But if Ray sent you, so who am I to question that? Three. Elder Tide, Stone Law, and Fire Song. You're not a druid. You don't belong on the Sisters Archipelago. Still, I'll set aside my animosities for Gwenael. 
She's my bubbling spring. She soothes the burns of life and cools my harsh temper. We need to save her. I've been searching the perimeter of the path since the attack, and I've seen no one else. I can't believe I left without her. If I'd only stopped to see if she followed, she'd be safe. If she dies, I'll never forgive myself. Besides the fire song druids, the very air is thick with spirit motes. You'll see them once we enter the valley. The worst are the animals, though. They frighten me. Crocodiles, wolves, ursocks, among others. The animals in the path are usually docile. We feed them, care for them. Now they attack without provocation. For things to be so out of balance, it goes against my understanding of nature. It started after their attack. But I've never seen a druid who could control the spirit motes before. Only the Chronicle commands them, chooses when to release them, and what story they carry. I have no clue what's happening here. Ifray's path is a sacred place, with a small community of druids to look after it. Yeah, Ifray set the spirit here, the one we call the Chronicle. It shares stories with us, shows us a... through the blessings of the spirit modes. Ifray is the storyteller. All of nature comes from Ifray, but so do our tales and songs. The Chronicle utilizes both aspects of its creator. Particles released by the Chronicle. Normally we breathe in the gift of the spirit and experience the story it wishes us to see. A vision, you might call it. Perfectly safe. Except I've never seen such large clouds of spirit modes before. Oh, oh Ifri, let no overcast skies or snaring vines. Cloud the intention of our thoughts. Oh, come. See the bear. Tarvitsen kyllä paremmat varusteet ihan selkeästi. The moats are even thicker now. Kun saattaa yrittää etsiä tarinaa niinku tosta... ...suikuinkaasta. Druid Senna saw the moat cloud form? It's like nothing I've encountered. She's not here. That's some small relief. We found some troubling things outside her. We found the last notes of Druid Senna and a group of dead Elder Tide. But my Gwinael is still among the missing. What do you think, outsider? What do your non-Druid senses tell you? 
Yes, the Chronicle grows plants called muse mouths, which release a small amount of spirit motes when we commune with it. The motes show us the stories. They've never threatened or harmed us before. And they never appeared as great clouds either. Other than the thick concentration, I'm not sure. Druid Senna mentioned that the fire song caught in the fog lowered their weapons and then marched off as if in a trance. This is very strange. No, but the others all lived in our community. And from the looks of it, they were killed by the Fire Song attackers. They must have been surprised. There are no Fire Song druids among the dead. But there's also no sign of my wife. Not finding my wife could mean anything. All we know is that she's not here. She could be anywhere. But yes. Let's go check the waterfalls to the north. That's where Druid Senna's note said the Fire Song druids went after the spirit modes descended. The waterfalls? I'd mm. rather not discuss the waterfalls. That area is very private, not a place for those outside our circle. Still, if that's where the Fire Song druid went, we need to check. There were a lot of them in the raiding party. They must be somewhere. Come on. The waterfall's on the north wall of the valley. Let's keep looking. me the spirit of the path it calls to us we must go defend it protect it attack frightened it needs us it must defend okay. defend wait not in there Here, outsider. It appears that the spirit modes do more than just tell us stories, outsider. That fire song druid's mind was clearly being influenced, if not outright controlled. But why is the Chronicle doing this? It never exhibited hostile behavior before. The blessing I bestowed upon us before we set out must be keeping the modes at bay. Given the power we just saw. I'm not sure how much longer that protection will last. I suppose you'll need to accompany me into the tunnels. It is a sacred place, outsider. The tunnels lead to ritual chambers, the muse mouth plants, and to the spirit of the path, the chronicle. Hopefully, my guinea was also somewhere inside. Tarvin kyllä ehdottomasti uuden aseen tällä. Tämä tankkihahmo ei myöskään niin hirveästi tee sitä. Tämä on hyvin puolustuksellinen ase, mikä nyt on. On that platform. What's a forest wraith doing here? Uh. Uh. 
attacking that people about the hallway. Burning their talons. Amuse mouth. It has a story to tell us, outsider. I can sense it. Examine the plan. My gift to you. Oh. Tell us how to access the Chronicle, or this is your fate. No! How could you? Nail. And the Chronicle. Did you see it too? The spirit is trying to tell us something. That was neither story nor ancient history. The Chronicle showed us the recent past. That's never happened before. Yes, I saw it too. The Fire Song Druid said something about accessing the Chronicle. Could that be what this is all about? But something we saw plagues me. The orb. That was the chronicle. But the spirit has never appeared in a vision before. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do stuff. It brings bones. What happened to the chronicle? Outsider, this is the chronicle. The spirit we communed with, but it's grown dark. Can you feel the anger radiating from it? The sadness? I don't like the looks of this. The Chronicle's always been more emotional than other nature's spirits. It comprehends the experience of mortals and feels our emotions vicariously through the stories it shares. I've felt its calm, its joy, and even its grief. But this... Outsider, this is... The Chronicle's always been more... Emo Perhaps. But there's a depth to this emotion I've never felt before. It unnerves me. Let's hurry. My Gwenael is in here somewhere, and my game. fear for her safety grows with every passing moment. The door is just over there. Hmm. Another muse mouth plant. I sense the Chronicle has more to show us. You refuse to give us Ifrae's gift? Very well. We will just kill you and take the Chronicle. We can't just give you the Chronicle. The spirit is bound to this sacred place. Then we'll cut the Chronicle from the roots and... <coughs> What's happening? <coughs> Spirit monkeys. Spirit mode saved Gwinnell? But why do the Fire Song want the Chronicle? The Chronicle blessed us with another vision. We saw the Fire Song attack Elder Tide, threaten us to gain possession of the Chronicle. All this bloodshed. That could explain why the Spirit feels so guilty. 
But the moats, it saved Grinnell. Nature spirits, especially ones as strong as the Chronicle, are known among the circles. While the Fire Song rarely leave Ipilon, they've always been aware of our spirit. Some even traveled here to partake of its stories. Obviously, the Chronicle is capable of more than we ever gave it credit for. Recording and showing recent events, influencing the minds of people and animals. But why druids would want access to that kind of power? Se on ensimmäinen henki, ensimmäisiä henkiä. Itada. Firesong Lani, tää hyökkäys kyllä vähän vielä. <laughs> Such a high concentration of spirit motes is dangerous. The blessing won't protect us from this. Worse vines seal the doors beyond. I think I have an idea, though. The muse mouth plants in the room ahead are bloated, spewing out huge clouds of spirit motes. I can remove the vines that block the door. But I'm too old to withstand the moats in such concentrations. Luckily, I have a few vials of Ifray's rain. Purified water from a sacred waterfall. Gwinnell uses it to awaken those who sometimes get lost in the visions. The water causes muse mouth plants to shrink and close up for a time. Even ones bloated as much as these should react the same way. Clear the line. What's happening over there? Those druids, they're transforming into forest raids. How is that? Gwinnell. No, not you, please. Oh no. Gwen. A forest raid. No. My Gwinnell, my guiding light. We were so close to reaching her. And she slipped through my fingers. The spirit turned her into a forest wraith. Legends tell us that the green and its spirits can summon forest wraiths to protect themselves. The Chronicle felt threatened, so it did the same. I'm not sure if this is how all forest wraiths are created, but we saw what the Chronicle did. Possibly. The Chronicle transformed Gwinnell into one of those things. 
It should be able to turn her back and return her to me. I know I've asked a lot of you, but please come with me. We need to talk to the Chronicle. Convince it to release her. All right, outsider. Let's go find my Gwinael and convince the Chronicle to transform her back into my beloved wife. The newly created wraiths went farther into the tunnels. We keep moving and I'm sure we'll meet up with them shortly. As for recognizing my wife, she may be a creature of darkness now, but I know I'll be able to identify her when I see her. No, on sekin suunnitelma tietysti. Epätoivon sellainen, mutta kuitenkin. If race rain on these as well. Can do I know we kill him? Better good. Kasveja. Täällä on portaat. deal with the door. Outsider, you've been more help than even I anticipated. Ok, no, let's see that's a bimo. Let's see what's going on. 
Et ei välttämättä olla unellinen loppu tässä tarinassa. There. That's my Gwen just ahead. Gwenel. I take no pleasure in killing, but I'm glad we're alive and they're not. Lähti vähän käsistä. Päälle vaan vähän pettä. Aika helppo. Everything is fine, Gwenelle. Outsider, come. We owe you so much. I can hardly believe my eyes. My Gwenelle, as radiant as the day I first set eyes upon her. I thought I'd lost her. But the Chronicle, the spirit of the path. What a terrible price to pay to set things right. You did what it asked of you. What you had to do, but don't despair. I felt its anger slip away. Its intentions were pure, outsider. Things just got out of hand. It was the actions of the fire song that tainted the spirit, corrupted it. It used its moats to try to stop the fire song, created the wraiths to protect our home. But it knew it went too far, like a bee whose sting causes its own death. It reacted in desperation. Then we'll get her. I hope it finds peace now. Back in the green. Yes, Gwen is strong. She'll recover quickly. But she would have been lost to me without your help. Please, accept this. 
You entered a great danger and rescued my Gwinnell from a terrible fate. I just wish the Chronicle was still with us. We may have lost the Chronicle, but my Gwinnell is safe. And all because Ifray chose to send me an outsider. Life is strange, my friend. We'll rebuild. Ask more Elder Tide to join us. For too long, we've relied on the Chronicle to show us our past, to tell us our stories. It's time for us to take responsibility for our own memories, I think. It will be, once the spirit motes disperse and the remaining fire song are driven off. Without a spirit, Gwen and I will become the Chroniclers. We'll remember and record our stories and our history. Share it with all who wish to hear. Did all that really happen? The fire song, the forest wraiths. The Chronicle saved you, in its own way. It was angry, that much I remember. The bloodshed, our friends. We'll grieve for them, and for the Chronicle. We lost a lot this day. The Chronicle is really gone? Its final act was to release you, dear Gwen. What now, husband? Now, we thank Ifre and tell our own stories. The Chronicle was so frightened, so angry at what the Fire Song did. It tried to help me, but it was confused, unsure. I remember becoming a forest wraith. I'll need to write that down. It's a story that should be remembered. Fast, confusing. But then, it was simple. I had a purpose. There wasn't room for fear. I'm no more murderous now than I was before. But still, it was odd. If Pitoff came any closer, I might have hurt him. That will be difficult to forget. With the Chronicle influencing my mind, in an instant, that feeling will stay with me for the rest of my days. Part of me is glad the Chronicle is gone. For all its insight, it didn't understand mortals. I hope I can still be a druid. My understanding of nature's spirits has changed. I don't know if I can treat them with the same respect I did before. I'll give myself some time to recover and reflect. The shock of everything that happened could be clouding my judgment. We'll see. Yaha. Aika, aika suora viimeinen seikkailu oli. I can't believe the fire song betrayed us. Attacking the Dreyfa? How will that bring the circles together? The Fire Song will answer for this, this crime, This is Gunther. taking forever. By House Mornard's honor, this I so swear. I don't want vengeance, Feta. No need. Iso herra, haluatteko hyvät vai huonot? We should have left these foolish druids to their squabbles. Ignoring someone doesn't mean they'll ignore you. We need the Elder Tide and the Stone Lord to meet this threat and save your son. I told Count Marnard about the attack at the Drefa. I'm not sure he entirely believes me. The Fire Song allying with sea elves against other druids? It's unheard of. Better tell him what you saw, mate. Dulev tells me you played no small part in repelling the dread sails and foiling an attack on the Druid Council, mercenary. Has the Fire Song Circle truly made an alliance with the hated Sea Elves? All this trouble over Druidic nonsense? And it led to the deaths of four Archdruids? Unbelievable! But I wouldn't expect Sea Elf pirates to bother with an alliance that doesn't pay in plunder. 
What to see Lord Nalos get out of all this? Oletettavasti. Typical. A druid who doesn't believe in property generously giving away something that doesn't belong to her. When last I looked, I ruled Galen. Did Archdruid Orlaith say what she wants from me as a price for keeping my son alive? I had no interest in druid quarrels until she threatened my son. Bah! Stefan warned me something dangerous was afoot. I should have listened. Here. House Mornard always pays its debts. There's more to come if you continue to aid us, mercenary. I refuse to let Galen's enemies dictate my actions. Yet I dare not move directly against the Firesong Circle or their Dreadsail's friends, as long as they're holding Stefan hostage. What say you, mercenary? Ready to earn some more House Mornard gold? I don't trust Archdruid or Lathe to spare my son, even if she gets everything she wants. I will instruct my knights to stand down. Let her think I am paralyzed by this threat. Meanwhile, we secretly work to save Stefan from the Fire Song. While Archdruid Orlaith sees my knights doing what she demanded, nothing. I want you to find Stefan and set him free. Duleth says the Stone Law and Elder Tide Archdruids are here in the city. Get them to tell you where Stefan is being held. I'm counting on you, mercenary. Save my son, and you can name your price. Duluth says Revol and Elec are by the bridge east of Vastir. Talk to them. They know parts of Galen no one else has even seen. They must have an idea where to find Stefan. A hard question, but a fair one. My house has always found it wiser to let the druids take care of their own affairs. Most of them dislike us as it is. Imagine their resentment if Mornards took sides in all their petty disputes. I blame his mother. Isel took an interest in druid teachings when she came to Galen. She shared that interest with our son. When Visel died, well, I could not forbid something Stefan had shared with his mother. While the Fire Song call Ipalon home, I suspect Orlaith will keep him close until she acquires the seeds from the other druid circles. He could be on a dread sail ship. But I doubt the Fire Song would trust their allies with such precious cargo. Respect? Perhaps not. But I left them mostly alone to practice their ancient religion. My biggest problem with them, before the current crisis, was their insistence to hold on to the past. Bretons need to embrace modern ways if we're going to thrive. Yes, but we used to control so much more. My father was the Duke of the Sisters. When he supported King Ranser in his war against the High King, Emmerich took the Ducal title and awarded it to House Dufort. An unjust and harsh penalty, in my opinion. Kyllä, kyllä. Joo, ei siis... Tää on miele mielenkiintoinen, koska niinku Britannien toi kulttuuri on... Siis se on Elleskossa ainoa feodaalijärjestelmä käytännössä. Imperiumi on imperiumi. Ylläri, ylläri ja muut toimii ihan omalla logiikalla, että tämä on selkeästi niin kuin ainoa keskiaikainen, keskiaikaista fantasiaa lähellä. Mutta anyway, täytyy jatkaa jonain toisena kertana pelastusoperaatiota.